Chelsea Clinton was one of the people who called out Ilhan Omar for using anti-Semitic language. Well, students confronted Chelsea Clinton and they are blaming Chelsea Clinton, these students, they are blaming Chelsea Clinton for the shooting in Christchurch. Okay, this is how radical the radical fringe of the left is. Chelsea Clinton is somehow to blame for a white supremacist shooting up a church in Christchurch because she called out anti-Semitism from Ilhan Omar. This went viral over the weekend. Students confronting Chelsea Clinton. After all that you have done and all this on the that you have so I'm so sorry. Well, certainly, it's never my intention. I do believe words matter, but I believe we have to show We do matter. This, this, this right here is the result of a massacre stoked by people like you and the words that you have put out into the world. And I want you to know that, and I want you to feel that deep inside. 49 people died because of the rhetoric that you put out there. You can hear people snapping in the background. What does I'm sorry you feel that way mean? What does that mean? What is she supposed to apologize for? She's supposed to apologize because she called out Ilhan Omar for being anti-Semitic. So if you call out a Muslim for being anti-Semitic, then you're responsible for the murder of other unrelated Muslims who are not being anti-Semitic in Christchurch. Okay, and then these two people, the people who are, who are going after Chelsea Clinton, for goodness sake. I mean, how radical is the left? They're making me defend Chelsea Clinton now. Okay, this is unbelievable. These two people were given a platform in BuzzFeed News, a platform to explain why they called out Chelsea Clinton for the shooting in Christchurch. BuzzFeed News posted a, a piece by these two radicals whose names are Lynn Dweek and Rose Ossoff. And it says why we confronted Chelsea Clinton at the Christchurch vigil. Here's why. Yesterday, we posted a video of Lynn confronting Chelsea Clinton at a vigil for the victims of the white supremacist New Zealand mosque massacre. Today, we woke up with over 100,000 people talking about it on Twitter. Needless to say, this is not what we expected. Well, it sort of was. We went to the vigil for one reason, to grieve the loss of innocent lives that were stolen from this world by vile hatred. We wanted to join our friends and colleagues in a time of heartbreak and agony to remember the 49 Muslims who were murdered for being Muslim. We did a double take when we first noticed Chelsea Clinton was at the vigil. Just weeks before this tragedy, we bore witness to a bigoted anti-Muslim mob coming after Representative Ilhan Omar for speaking the truth about the massive influence of the Israel lobby in this country. We believe Ilhan Omar did nothing wrong except challenge the status quo, but the way many people chose to criticize Omar made her vulnerable to anti-Muslim hatred and death threats. We were shocked when Clinton arrived at the vigil, given that she had not yet apologized to Representative Omar for the public vilification against her. So Ilhan Omar was a wounded innocent in all this. Chelsea Clinton was the offender. And because Chelsea Clinton called out Ilhan Omar for being an anti-Semite, this supposedly led a white supremacist to murder people in halfway around the world in New Zealand. Many have said it was unfair to connect Chelsea's words to the massacre in Christchurch, these two dolts, right? To them, we say that anti-Muslim bigotry must be addressed wherever it exists. That includes Chelsea Clinton. Okay, a couple of quick notes. A couple of quick notes about the two people who were just given space in BuzzFeed to harass Chelsea Clinton some more. Okay, it turns out that these that both of these people are deeply radical in every possible way. And they got their defenders, of course, from the radical left and, and their friends, the, the folks over at The Intercept and such. So a couple of things. Dweek tweeted out, quote, you're, you're only interested in demolishing Israel, not in finding a solution. Uh, demolishing Israel is a solution. So the same people who are calling out Chelsea Clinton for supposedly being anti-Islam, for calling out Ilhan Omar, are themselves deeply anti-Semitic to the point where they are calling for the full demolition of Israel. The full demolition of Israel. It's unbelievable. The idea now is that if you criticize Ilhan Omar for being an anti-Semite, somehow you're responsible for the massacre in Christchurch. 